Hello friends welcome back to Talktive. The Arctic is warming faster than any other place on Earth, threatening global climate stability. In response scientists have a new ally in their quest to understand these changes, the Tara Polar Station. This state-of-the-art vessel is designed to drift with the Arctic ice, serving as a mobile research hub in one of the harshest environments on the planet. The Tara Polar Station is a uniquely engineered floating laboratory designed to withstand the harsh conditions of the Arctic. Its oval-shaped hull, made from 20mm thick aluminum sheets, is built to endure the crushing pressure of ice, allowing it to rise with the force instead of being crushed. The station's construction involved innovative techniques, such as multi-pass welding, to handle the challenges posed by the extreme cold. Inside, modular laboratories provide flexibility for various scientific studies, from marine biology to climate science. The station will be operational for up to 500 days, offering an unparalleled platform for long-term Arctic research. The project, which began over a decade ago as a visionary idea, aims to address the urgent need to understand the rapidly changing Arctic environment. The moon pool, while relatively simple to construct, is crucial for scientific experiments on the Terra Polar Station. The project faced regulatory challenges, as it had to comply with international and French maritime standards, including the Polar Code, despite having no existing rules for a vessel of its unique size and shape. The superstructure, including the geode that houses living quarters and laboratories, was built using thinner aluminum sheets, and its attachment to the hull required precise execution. The construction site in Cherbourg, France, was a hive of activity, employing advanced techniques like automatic welding. After completion, the station underwent rigorous dockside tests and sea trials to validate its design for Arctic conditions. The first mission's plan for the station would take it into the Fram Strait in summer and lock it in a frozen fjord in winter, providing real-world testing. The station accommodates up to 18 crew members, who must be prepared to face isolation extreme cold, and long periods of darkness in the Arctic. The Terra Polar Station was designed with amenities like heated cabins, a mess room, and a traditional steam bath to ensure crew comfort during extended missions. Every detail, from kitchen layout to heated closets, was thoughtfully planned. The scientific equipment required precise installation to function in the harsh Arctic environment, and the modular laboratories offer flexibility for diverse research needs. Environmental responsibility was a priority, with efforts to minimize the station's ecological footprint. Powered by carbon-free energy sources like wind turbines, solar panels, and biosourced fuels, the station reduces its impact compared to traditional expeditions. Efficient waste management and space utilization are crucial for extended missions, and a warm LED lighting system helps minimize light pollution. In the labs, green or red lights replace traditional white ones, ensuring minimal contrast when handling samples from the dark Arctic waters. The Tara Polar Station is a leap from its predecessor, the schooner Tara, with almost 10 times more scientific space. Designed specifically for polar exploration, a comprehensive set of instruments will be deployed to study the physico-chemical interactions between the atmosphere, the surface layer of sea ice, and the underlying ocean. Cytometers and other instruments for advanced cell biology will allow experimentation with living organisms and the observation of intracellular phenomena. DNA sequencing tools tested on the Terra schooner will also be deployed on site. The first expedition is set for 2026. As the Tara Polar Station heads to the North Pole, it marks a new era of research and conservation. With two ships in action, the next 20 years will be crucial for understanding and protecting our planet's delicate balance. If you enjoyed this video please like, subscribe, comment, and turn on notifications.